Hey, Volley Truthers, today we talk about ghosting. No, not the ghosts of Halloween and not the ghosting in the dating world. This is the infamous ghosting by coaches. The truth is, ghosting is a real thing. It happens to the best of us and to all of us. Coaches may respond, we are pursuing other athletes of interest and wish you the best. That is great. At least you know, right? Make sure to thank them for their response or more often than not, they will not call, text, or email ever again. Always have a plan A, plan B, get on the phone with the next coach that's still interested in you joining their program and move forward in the process. So story time. I can remember when Leilani was being heavily recruited by a prestigious D1 program. I mean, they had a number of conversations on the phone, through emails. They knew her travel schedule. The school spoke with the club director, which was actually how all of the recruiting started between them. She was invited to the school on a visit, which she attended, broke bread with the team, which they really made her feel welcome. For a person that's introverted, that's a big thing. Saw the beautiful locker room and all the perks given to the players. I was super into it, was even invited to a game. Free tickets and all. But as things got further and further into the process, all that stopped. It was all of a sudden, without warning, there were no more calls, no more emails, and no more texts. We even had Leilani call them to find out what was going on. Where were they in the process? If they were still interested, but no responses. Ultimately, we spoke with the director of our club and asked if he could reach out because that school had reached out to him first about Leilani, right? So why not? Well, he did. And of course, the coach picked up for his call. He told our director that they had decided to go in a different direction and that they wished Leilani much success. And that was it. Was she devastated? Hex yeah. Was she in her feelings? Hex yeah. Did she spend a little time questioning her skill sets? self-worth, and her ability to get recruited and play at the next level, most definitely. But we, as her parents, let her know that rejection is a part of the process and a part of life. We had her send the coach and the coaching staff a thank you email, thanking them for their time and consideration of her and wish them the best of luck for their upcoming season. Ghosting is a thing. We then scratched them off the list and moved on to the next one. In the end, Leilani picked a school that wanted her and she wanted the University of Alaska Anchorage. The recruiting process can be a disheartening reality of sports, but getting your name out to colleges, coaches, and gaining that well-deserved recognition in the recruiting world is a satisfying and joyous feeling. So parents and players keep this in the front of your mind as you enter the recruiting process. The recruiting process has very few regulations and it's super easy to be misled when you put all of your trust, hopes, and dreams in a coach that you believe believes in your future at their school. Coaches around the country year after year can tug at the student athlete's heart, making them believe they're destined to play at their college. When in reality, you might be only a backup or a third or fourth in line option so that you don't commit elsewhere. Remember, just like club volleyball, as a college athlete, recognize that the recruiting process is a business venture and the coach is trying to put his or her team and the program in the absolute best position possible to win. That being said, please don't put all your eggs in one basket. Have multiple eggs and spread them around. If the recruiting process becomes more cryptic, meaning in the beginning the program was super interested, but not so much now, failing to respond to emails, texts, 
messages or phone calls, players. You cannot take this process personally. Now, trust, I know that it is easier said than done, but this whole process is really business. So to help matters of recruiting, we need to also put ourselves or at least try to put ourselves in the shoes of these colleges and university coaches. They have a mighty job on their own hands because even though some programs have the blessing of having a recruiting coordinator on staff, most do not. And even if programs have a recruiting coordinator that can see through most of the unwanted, ultimately, the head coach of these programs have to make the final decision. That is tough. What we have to understand as well is that university coaches have a ton of players wanting to be a part of their program. They get plenty of emails and phone calls from players with a range of abilities, some with loads of potential and skills all the way to those players that are rec level shooting their shots. Some seniors are still trying to get recruited after senior year and on into the summer, and that's okay. So here are some things that you can still do. You can try out at the college and or university you're at. Most Colleges have tryouts. Now, the likelihood of a player being added to the roster from an on-campus tryout is super rare, especially at top or strong programs, but can and has happened. My thoughts go straight to one player, Madeline Gates, from the 2019 volleyball season that transferred to Stanford University from UCLA to complete her master's degree. She thought she was done playing. But when she got on the campus, she decided that she would give the tryout a go. Not only did she make the squad, she made the starting lineup and then she helped the team as a sixth man. So again, making a team from a campus tryout is rare, but it is possible. So try out for the university club team. Some of those club teams are no joke. There's no scholarship money, but it is a way to continue continue playing. As I stated in the episode about recruiting, it's not about where you think you want to go. It's about what school actually wants you. You will get more rejections, ghostings, or no responses at all then you will get coaches that are interested in you. If you go in with this mindset, you will be much more accepting and understanding and be willing to stay the course and continue to grind it out in the recruiting process. It's rough out here in these volleyball streets, y'all. So until next time, remember, play like you're going to be subbed out. That's all for now, but if you like the content, leave a comment below, spike the like button, and subscribe to my channel.